Hello guys and girls, my name is Mike, also known as Dirt Perfect on YouTube, and today on the Heavy Metal Learning Channel, we're going to discuss how to safely load a piece of heavy equipment onto a transport trailer. So a couple things here before we tear head first into this video. This is going to be a very basic, just some things to look out for, some things to watch for, and maybe a couple techniques to safely get a piece of equipment onto the trailer. I personally think this is probably one of the most dangerous maneuvers you can make with a piece of heavy equipment, and it's often overlooked onto a job site is actually loading it up to transporting it. Unfortunately, as you can see in this picture, I understand firsthand how dangerous that can be. So for demonstration purposes today we'll be loading my 120 John Deere on a 35 foot, I call it step deck trailer. This machine here weighs approximately 30,000 pounds. Now there's usually two different people involved when it comes time to transport a piece of equipment. Sometimes those two people are one which is my case here. But you got a truck driver and an operator and you guys have to work in unison to have some communication together. The most important part about safely loading a piece of equipment is the trailer placement. This trailer needs to be perfectly flat, within reason, this way. You do not want it tilted left or right, however you want to say it. Now I'm not saying you need to go to your truck and get a four foot level out and check it and tweak and adjust. No, it needs to be visually flat. Uh, very, very, very important. Secondly, as far as the pitch goes this way, it needs to be within reason. Um, it's it's, it, it's not a perfect world out there guys i completely understand that so you don't want it pointed way downhill or way uphill like so but you want it pretty close to being level and it's close to being this way needs to be almost perfect this way needs to be within reason whatever the job site would allow and whatever you guys are comfortable with as far as the truck driver and the operator now secondly often overlooked and also very important is we got to make sure this truck stays put we don't want it rolling off as we're trying to get onto it now this particular truck here is equipped with air brakes so every axle on this truck except for the steer axle has parking brakes on it. i am very confident this truck is not going to go anywhere now if you're loading on a truck that has hydraulic brakes or electric brakes i would highly recommend chalking the wheels or having somebody hold the brake pedal or at the very least putting it in four wheel drive and in park because you do not want that truck uncontrollably moving while you're trying to load so at this point we got our trailer sitting level we got our wheels chalked our parking brake set the next thing we need to do, need to do is make sure the trailer is ready to accept the load different trailers have different setups and require different things this particular one here requires us to drop the airbags which is that knob right there and lower the tail down give you guys some quick examples of some different types of trailers you may encounter this is actually a tilt trailer so instead of the machine camming over the actual trailer wheel you go to load something like this need to make sure the mechanism is ready to accept the trailer coming down this is the more conventional setup that most people will know basically just fold up ramps most of these ramps will have some sort of ramp or some sort of stain on the bottom of them to keep the trailer from tilting up like that need to make sure all that's in good place if you don't have that on the bottom of the ramps you may consider putting some blocking or possibly a jack stand down there so all right guys now that we got our transport vehicle ready to load there's one more thing we need to do before we actually load it onto the trailer and that is make sure our transport vehicle is capable of legally hauling the weight of the machine now this can vary greatly across the country across the world and i'm sure you got where you guys are out watching this so the best thing i know to do is um ask google because the last thing you want to do is have an equipment failure due to overloading or end up paying a hefty overload fine so usually some quick math a little bit of research and in no time you'll know whether that thing will fit on this thing all right guys we have hopped in the machine the first thing i'm going to do is survey the landscape if this was a busy road we'd be watching for traffic make sure somebody's got that blocked over there we do have an overhead overhead obstacle over here is in a pile line uh, you just kind of got to assess where you're loading and what obstacles you may have and make sure everything's clear Make sure you know which ways you can move and which ways you can't for example whenever I go on this trailer I cannot swing that way. I will intersect that power line. So I will have to go that way. So we got our seatbelt on we got our safety lever lowered At this point we're going to approach the trailer 
So then we go to approach the trailer. What we do not want to do is come into it at an angle like so. I know my window's dirty and it's hard for you guys to see. Now if you start up on this trailer, you want both of those tracks or both of those tires to reach at the same time. See how I'm skewed? It's very hard on the trailer, it's very hard on the equipment, and it's very hard to turn control once you go up. So you need to get yourself lined up, lined up pretty good, like so. Once we get ourselves lined up, we will very slowly start climbing on the trailer. Now on this particular machine here, I can get a visual on the front of my tracks and make sure I'm lined up. I can also do the same thing over there. I apologize, my windows are a little bit dirty. We are on an active job site. So as we crawl up on here, I'm gonna be doing that. Now, there is some equipment where you cannot see that wheel, you cannot see that track. At that point, I highly recommend a spotter because you got inches to play with here and you don't wanna be an inch off because, well, you see in the picture at the beginning of this thing. So we're gonna crawl up in on here easy and eventually you're gonna to get to what we call the cam over point. Now this is probably the most crucial part in the loading is what I call the cam over point. This does not necessarily apply to rubber tired machines, but any tracked equipment, this is a very crucial part of it right here. And basically that right there becomes a pivot point. point. this machine's gonna pivot and set down like this. What you don't wanna do is keep tracking in a hurry and get that cam over point back here. This machine will just kind of slam down on the trailer. It's hard on the machine, it's hard on the trailer. But most importantly, it makes it hard to control and the last thing you want to do is sit there and start bouncing and bounce yourself right off the trailer so once you get to this point uh, you kind of ease up on it and you will slowly feel the machine start setting down and once it gets set down you're almost home free And there you go guys, just like that. Nice, easy, slow, and steady. Did you see how easy that machine just set down? Loading a trailer should never be a race. It should always be slow and steady and you should never do anything you're not confident in your abilities. If you don't feel comfortable, say, hey, let's let somebody else do this. Last thing you wanna do is get a piece of equipment damaged or worse yet, get yourself hurt. All right guys, there she is, safely loaded on the trailer. Now from there, we could talk about a bunch of different things from load placement to load securement to load transport heist to load transport whiffs. Oh, we could go on and on and on. But this video is about safely loading and unloading off the transport trailer. Now, if I was to unload this machine, I would follow all the steps I just gave you in reverse order. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you find this video somewhat helpful, a little bit informational. And if you'd like for us to elaborate on any of the other points I talked about, comment down below and let us know. Again, my name is Mike Simon, aka Dirt Perfect, and we're on the Heavy Metal Learning Channel.